skating. You can't say anything more about the skating. This is the lake you're skating on. Like, this is the most epic lake I've ever been on in my life. Hey, sorry, 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 sorry. This is our adventure of taking on the world's deepest freshwater lake and a total size of over 31,000 square kilometers. It is massive. This is our adventure of trying to skate almost 200 kilometers up the coast of this lake. Welcome to Lake Baikal. Yo, we're in Siberia! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> it's right here! That is falling! Yo, look at our old Soviet car! <laughs> Woo! We got three hours on this until we get to our first Airbnb. <laughs> what you have. This is our first look at Siberia. The vastness and the size always surprised us the raw beauty of the nature. What a rustic <laughs> this is! This is sick! <laughs> Yo, these stairs are like super steep. You're freaking die on them. This is something else. <laughs> oh, holy crap, look at this view. All right, this is raw camping. That's the crapper right there. That's our sauna. Which we will learn how to use that later. This is water. That's it? Doesn't do it. Oh, there you go. I know this is only day one of coming here. We got a lot of skating to do and a lot of things to do. But this place is unbelievable. It's not real. It's not real. What's up? That is such a clear piece of ice. It's unbelievable. Okay, guys, we're on Lake Baikal! Yeah! That is legit the bottom of the lake. You can see right through. standing here and there's all these noises happening you can hear it all this is the ice actually um, now that the Sun has disappeared it's getting colder and now it's cracking with the temperature change that's crazy like it's so loud dude you just crack crack boom so worth it honestly you don't even notice the cold you notice it when you're trying to get back and you're freezing, but after that, your memories and all the adventures and everything, you just, you don't even care about the cold. You'll take it every day. All right, guys, we're a bunch of marshmallows right now. Look at all us marshmallows. So we're gonna try to go climbing up a mountain over there, get a good time lapse of this morning. So let's go, marshmallows. On you we made sure that we were bundled with around seven layers of clothing on us. Frostbite is a very real thing here. <laughs> All right, hey guys, so we made it to the top of the peak here. Sun has not come up yet. We got the two time lapses set up here. Oh. 
Wow, that's probably the most beautiful sunrise I've ever seen. But we are freezing. <laughs> Finally, the skating test. We are probably the first people ever to try this on T-blades and figure skates to skate such a distance down Lake Baikal. Guys, we are on the ice at Lake Baikal. On the skates, finally. I'm gonna go test it out. Hi! I'm terrified. Why? Because it's cracking. So, it's fun. We can die, can't we? All right guys, first test of the skates on this ice. It's actually got sick grip, awesome glide. Honestly, this is gonna be a breeze. You just gotta watch out for these cracks. But it works really well. Nice. I don't know how much I can get on my camera since the battery seems to die pretty quick in this cold. But this is too heavy. <laughs> can you do on Lake Baikal? Let's see. It's a, it's a lot. That was his attempt, now let me try. This was incredible. Being able to do freestyle and figure skating routines on this lake, every angle, every shot we got with the camera was just amazing. This ice was so much better than we ever could have expected. We were so excited for the journey the next day. Here we are, entering the town again. We're all done. Sun went down quick. It got very dark, very fast. But uh, now we're gonna go. The uh, homeowner here has uh, invited us for dinner. So we're gonna go have a uh, hopefully really traditional Russian dinner. Oh, what's better than coming back from the lake after a good skate to this? <laughs> Just incredible, incredible people. And then the hosts here, you know, the the hosts of the Airbnbs and the people we just randomly met, like everybody has been nothing but super, super nice to us. Like, no problem How do you feel before the journey? Amazing. I'm so excited. Good. How about you? <laughs> Perfect. No words need to be said. <laughs> and you? Kind of like this. Okay, cool. All right, so everyone's ready to go. Everyone's excited. Today was a big day. Today, we were going to try to skate from Saganzaba all the way to Olkham Gate. It was a 50 kilometer journey. We had a general idea of what the ice condition would be like, but we didn't know for sure because nobody actually lived between these two points. All right, here we are in the van, ready to hit the road. Ready to hit the ice. Let's go, we got all our bags right here. Everything packed up. This truck frig, this thing is a beast. We came down off-road in the whole way. What a beast. Woo, 
Let's go. Let's go. This is Sagan Zaba. We're going to start here. I think you gotta go up and around. We found a road, guys. Hey. Ice is nice. We're gonna make some good time here. Hopefully, we'll see some ice caves. But we'll see. Uh, you hit some rough spots, so if we get slowed down too much, we might have to uh, go hitchhike or something like that. But we'll hopefully uh, be able to make it. So eerily smooth. Holy crap. Well, this kind of sucks. We went from really smooth ice to snow, compact snow. So now it's like working as hard. But hopefully this will uh, smooth out soon. Let's see just up there. This is how far this goes for. Huh? It's gonna really suck. We're gonna make no progress with that. But. Uh, man, I think Okay, I think that decision is we're gonna change the shoes now and walk across the snow because you don't move at all. There's some cracking sounds coming from the ice, but it's still about half a meter thick or so. So it's pretty thick. There's also other footprints on here, so other people have been on here. So, uh,. We got all our emergency stuff in case we do go through, but here, yeah, let's pray that we don't. So, yeah, sucks being back on the shoes again. We might have to cut off there and call her a day. You can't predict the ice, right? So, yeah, let's see what happens. Yes, we have skatable ice again. We got the skates back on. We got a lot quicker distance now. I'm trying to get that point, about 10 kilometers to go. We're gonna make it. Let's skate. Let's go, you can do it. Making progress again. Woo! Like bike guy, you're going down. We're gonna win this. So at three o'clock, we gotta get off the ice. Uh, point of the sun that looks like 
one and a half hours. So, let's see how far we can get. Sorry, I'm eating my friggin' balaclava. Can't get it out of my mouth. So yeah, one and a half hours. We can make it. We get around this point here, and uh, the town, well, the road for the town is only like two kilometers away. All right, guys, so sun's starting to go down a little bit there. We're gonna try to go around that point, but the uh, problem is it's all shredded up ice there and you can't really get across it. So we're gonna have to go up here, go climb the mountain and walk across it, so. Should we go get off? Yeah, let's get off. Can feel it. Look at this guys, ground. We're walking on ground. This is the first time we've touched ground for many, many hours. It's almost three o'clock now. Sun's there, gonna come down. It is a beautiful, stunning bay, but we're gonna have to now walk seven kilometers to the road, throw out a thumb or something, and hopefully get picked up by a car. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. That's why it's a challenge. You gotta roll with the punches. Uh, it's a little bit higher. Don't follow the road. I'm feeling a bit tired. This is a beautiful spot though. Damn. Give me some as well. I'd love some ice actually. Mm -hmm. I'd love some ice. Have some. Oh, nice. That sounds amazing. Nothing's coming out there. Oh no. Best view in the world for chilling. There's another one. Chilling too. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna be chilling too then. We had two hours of daylight left. In about five o'clock, the sun would go down and the temperature would drop drastically. We're gonna get to it. Sometimes tonight we're gonna get there. Let's go. I'm ready, let's go. <laughs> the road? Come on. So All right, here's the plan. Down here, up over the top of those hills, There'll be a little road there that we can follow to the main road. Let's continue. Sun's getting down. It's probably about 3.30 now. Oh, break time again. And look what's behind us. Another valley with a higher mountain. Son of Don't a. look there yet. Son of a. <laughs> Another mountain. The mountains just seem to keep going on and on and on. Every time we climbed a mountain, we were exhausted. Every time we looked over the crest and saw another mountain, it took away our motivation. We had to keep pushing. No matter what we had to go through, we had to keep pushing. Made it to the top of 
top of the valley. It's on about 30 minutes. That's a road. That is a friggin' road. Oh. This was the main road between the two towns. We had finally found it. We were really hoping to get picked up by somebody. We are done. <coughs> we just did 7K. Thank you everyone for pushing through and being strong. We made it to the road. It's now seven o'clock at night. We've been going, well, pretty much from eight to seven, so almost 12 hours, 11 hours straight from ice and then seven kilometers to walk over mountains and everything, but we made it. Yes, we actually made it. Hey, sorry, 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 sorry. He's here from the right. I got you, man. You made it. Are you okay? Good job, good job. You made it. Sunny. I've got a car for us, guys. We got a ride. Holy crap, we got a ride. <laughs> yeah. I can't move. Right. Are you sure you're okay? I'm okay. If it's okay. Yeah. Thank this guy for taking us here, bringing us out to the Airbnb. Good charge is 8,000, which is pretty high, but it's like 80 kilometers. So yeah. It's worth it. Yes. It's so worth it. Like anything at this point. Anything. Anything. I didn't even think about. Yeah. Saying really. no. No, exactly. There's no no. But, it's crazy that he knows the host, so he knows exactly where to go, so. Yes, he knows the host. It's a small, small place, a small place. We survived, guys. We survived. We survived. We survived. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah. We can be proud of ourselves. The original plan was to go from Saganzaba to Okum Gate by 5 o'clock, so that we could catch a bus to get up to Kazir. We assume we made it to around this point. We walked seven kilometers through all the mountains and valleys until we finally got to the road. This was where we managed to hitchhike and get a ride up to Kazir. That's it. There goes the ride. And that is the house. There's the town. It goes from survival to incredible skating to incredible sunsets to freezing, but so worth it. All right, start of our second day on this little island, I guess. Well, first real day. After last night's amazingly crazy adventure of us almost dying. Keep on waiting, keep on waiting, we'll be waiting for we are alive again. It's like past noon, so it took us a while to get alive, but New now we're gonna go skate to another little island with ice caves. This one's only seven kilometers, not 45, so hopefully we'll be back before midnight. <laughs> happy that we made it and it was like one of the best adventures in my life <laughs> ice cave freestyle who wants to see that
God. <laughs> God There's no. the mark right there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Look at this, we got a crowd in an ice cave. Now we got a freestyle circle going on in an ice cave. How sick is this? This was a lot of fun. This adventure might not have gone to plan. We planned to do almost 200 kilometers, when in fact we hardly even made one quarter of that length. It didn't work due to unknown ice conditions, but this was an adventure of a lifetime. Alright guys, I think that is it for skating. six of us shared this once in a lifetime opportunity. This adventure could never be redone and never be recreated. This will live with us forever. <laughs> All right guys, this is it. This is a goodbye to Lake Baikal. Yeah, it's just been an amazing journey here in Russia. So I would definitely, anybody that's a skater, anybody that was thinking of coming here, do it. Do it. This has literally been one of the most incredible places I've ever been. Yeah, come to Russia. Right. Come to Siberia and Lake Baikal. Oh, yeah. Look, look at this lake. Look at this. <laughs> I think everyone's puking after this ride. <laughs>